I ask for the truth on behalf of Stuart Silence concerning love SUs and ask uh, in the name of truth for guidance and insight in the name of truth, right conduct, peace, love and non-violence. Plus it be to the truth always. We just cut the duck for you there, Stuart. Place the top on the bottom, or is that the bottom on the top? Don't know. Depends. Philosophers have no doubt argued over it for a millennia. We shall move the duck to the side. Welcome back. I thought I've read for you before, haven't we, Stuart? Uh, uh, just in. I remember the name anyway, so I don't know how long ago it was. Uh, but that's. Uh, we're drawn here, so let's see what, what the crack is. What we'll deal is uh, the three card. We'll deal out three cards there. So the first card we deal is in the possession of the of, of the past. In this particular case, it's the recent past, then the present, and then the immediate future. And of course you provided the question, so we can we can sort of use the cards, the meanings of each card, to provide an answer to that aspect of the question in that particular sort of order. Say for example, the first one is the, 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 the recent past, isn't it? So that will be what's been going on uh, with love, as you would say, over the past three or four weeks or so. Uh, so let's just flip that card over. We'll just bring it round here, just so you can see it. And then we'll just flip it over nice and slowly, not to disturb its energy, just nice and steadily there. And notice you've got the energy of the king. That's uh, an Egyptian sort of feel to it there, doesn't it? With the king, maybe a pharaoh or somebody. Obviously somebody with authority, somebody who has to be diplomatic on occasion. No doubt. And uh, this this lends itself to that idea of maybe it could be a man who's, who's an influence in your life, or, or it could even be you, in the sense that you have had a position of authority in a, in a love affair, or a situation of of of, of uh, you know love scenario there that meant that you held the purse strings, or you you were maybe. Maybe, I suppose, from a dark sort of angle, maybe you became a dictator, a bit, a bit, a bit more like a nagging wife, or a bit more of a, a nagging other half than, 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 um, than the ideal partner. Why well, I'm sort of sensing that, I don't know. And, and maybe that's what it is. Um, and you've been going in a bit like Taurus, a bit like a raging bull when you didn't get what you want. Why am I focusing on that? Why am I locking onto that? I don't know. Very strange that, isn't it? I want to see what... Um, is going on now. I want to see what just energy is vibrating there right now. And I want to just see that, as we just flip this card over here, the golem, the energy of the golem there, uh, just uh, bringing some sort of Maybe a close friend right now is acting on your behalf, if it's, as it sort of implies there. Uh, maybe somebody's telling them, look, he's not a bad old stick. Um, he has his good sides and his downsides, in the sense he's got his good, there's good parts to him and good, uh, not bad parts. But there's good and bad in everybody. And I've got a sort of sense of this, he's some mate, some friend of yours, who's, who's probably trying to have a word with her, maybe. Uh, about that. This could even be, if it isn't the current partner whom you've had a disagreement with, it could be an ex, maybe, who, who, who uh, may be long gone, I don't know, I honestly don't know. But why am I sort of sensing as though maybe it is an ex that, that you're feeling as though you want to try and get back with? And somebody's got it. You're sending somebody in to do the crusading, in the sense, is it putting in the good word for you, and 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 maybe just just helping and fix you up again, in some way. Look, he's changed. He isn't like he used to be, and and yet you have been the same. You've been authoritative. 
Maybe you've become more diplomatic with that authority. You've learned to be more diplomatic and more merciful with whatever. And and if you want, if she's wanted to go out for a meal, you've decided, you thought, well, I'll take her this time instead of saying I can't afford and or something of that nature, or I don't have a night in or something. Um, of course, you don't get rich by spending your money, do you? So so maybe that's. That, that's the philosophy you've you've been following but certainly notice the king there he looks back that way or looks towards that way towards the the uh, towards the the planchette of the witch board there maybe but of course he looks back to the past and maybe he's looking back maybe at a time that he wanted he's got power over what he hadn't got before um why am I thinking that? Why, 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 why did that just go through me? I don't know. If only I'd got then what I got now, I'd, I'd probably do things differently. I'd probably, I'd, I'd be able to wield my power, but I'd, I'd no power before. And, and and she had the power to walk out on me, or the power to find somebody else, or whatever. Because I haven't got enough, but now I have got enough, and she's not there. And this, I suppose, is what tasks true love, isn't it? Uh, and now I've got to send in and somebody who's close to me, a close friend, or somebody who understands me, to try and give some third-party opinion to make it look as though somebody else knows more than than me. When it's really me who should be having a word with it, maybe it's you who should be should be going in there and saying, "Look, I'm not that bad. I've changed," but instead. Instead, you're sending somebody else in to do your dirty work. That's a terrible thing, isn't it? But let's just see, though, as the darkness surrounds you in the back there. Um, let's just see what the immediate future holds there. The, the mystic circle, the, the runic energies of the mystic circle, uh, of course. Uh, your abilities will be enhanced in some way, obviously. You, you probably might need... You probably might discover that you don't need to send in a good friend to help you out. You're quite capable, you're quite big enough and ugly enough to stick up for yourself and say what you've got to say yourself. Um, and your your abilities to build that confidence to do that will, will, will come. Between now and this time next month, you, you, you'll you notice you'll notice that change between now and the, the 22nd of May, maybe, just to give you a figure. Um, but any time between now and the end of next month, as you, as you could say, it's. Uh, I suppose we could. We could just take a quick look at the uh, uh, the, 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 the almanac there. And uh, of course, any time any any time to initiate anything would be on the fourth of May, wouldn't it? And of course, time for healing. Whatever, if it's a, if, if it's a current relationship that needs healing, then the twelfth. Of May, the first quarter of the 12th of May, but of course, magic comes to its peak on the 18th of May, and then any banishing can be done on the 26th of May. So, there is your your, your scope uh, for, for that timing, I suppose. From a moon phase perspective, <laughs> if there ever was a no, no better time like the present, of course. And, and and maybe maybe you're just waiting for the right time and you'll wait for the right time to come along and the right time will never be the right time because now it's probably just not perfect enough so I'll wait just a bit longer for the right time and then you'll miss it and you'll end up with nothing. What a sad epitaph that would be, wouldn't it? When you could do it now. But we'll cast a shadow over this which I'm sure darkness exists in the shadows upon this matter but for now Stuart until next time of course these cards have spoken